What's up guys, Kevin with Prometheum Forge, and today we're going to do an assembly video on the sodium storage tower. So here we go. Hopefully you uh, got your daily dose of sodium, so you got your chip can there, and we'll start by building the base. Punch out all the little feet, and uh, start by fitting the feet into the bottom ring. A little bit of glue helps hold everything together here. That'll be true for the remainder of the build. And fit this disc up in between the feet. It's kind of a tricky fit, but it's real secure once you get it. Little dot of glue right where each foot meets the disc, and set aside to dry. Next up, we're gonna punch out the main platform and the supports. We will only glue the supports to one side of the platform, because obviously we have to put the chip can in the middle, so get those nice and flush. And save that disc right there. Next up, top platform. Use a little care when you're punching out those railings there. They can be a little fragile. And punch out the stanchions. Now, here we're not going to glue the stanchions to the platform. We're only going to put the glue in the top notch where it meets the handrail. And uh, the handrail fit is a little tricky. But once you get it, everything snaps into place. And once again, glue just in the top notch. So the reason for that is now they're removable. So if you want to attach a walkway to your top platform, there you go. If you don't care about attaching walk warm, uh, walkways to the top platform, then it's fine. But um, if you want it removable, that's the strategy. Next up, the ladders. Now with the ladders, you'll notice that uh, those top clips I'm punching out right now, there's a shallow depth and a deeper depth. Um, in short, the deeper ones will go on the top platform and the shallow ones will attach to the bottom platform, but we'll tell you more about that when we get to that step of the assembly. But just know that those are different, so um, use the same two for, for any given ladder. These ladders will, all, will also be available separately if uh, you want them for elsewhere in your terrain, because I think they look kind of cool. All right, so ladders set aside to dry. Next up, we're going to put the additional feet on the bottom platform. Now, the purpose for this platform is to raise the whole can uh, by half an inch because a Pringles can is nine and a half inches tall, and we needed to go ten inches tall for the top story to fit with five-inch terrain. So that is the purpose of this platform we're building right here. And now we're gonna measure as to where the main platform will fit on the can. So you can measure down from the top five inches, or you can measure up from the bottom uh, 110 centimeters. And when I say the bottom, of course, I'm talking about the open side of the chip can because it's gonna go upside down. You can glue the platform to the can. You almost don't have to because the fit is pretty tight. I did that on purpose. Made it feel more secure and just eyeball things, get it nice and level. And here's the one part that you kind of can't see from the pictures. We're putting in spacers, um, and that spacer gives us just a little bit of room in between that top platform and the upper lip of the can to fit those stanchions and make them removable. Now for the railings on the main platform. Uh, and these work kind of similar to the top platform in that you're not going to glue them to the platform if you choose. Um, you're just going to glue them to the railings themselves and then you can snap them on and off um, to attach walkways. Again, if you don't care about walkways, go ahead and glue everything together. It'll be more secure. But if you want the flexibility, that's the way it was designed. And my trick there is to line up the corner of the railing with the corner of the platform. All right, so here's the ladder with those deeper clips that we talked about earlier. So that fits on the top. And then the ladder with the more shallow clips uh, will fit on the bottom platform. All right, so here's the insert that makes the base. So I put some glue on the inside of there, slid it in. And now the bottom ladder. And that little fiddly part is a light. Just another detail. So there you go, the Prometheum Forge Sodium Storage Tower. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the build, and check out prometheumforge.com for this kit and a lot of other really cool stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs>